it works for fall. So see you in fall. Whew. Yeah. Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Savannah, and today we are building a micro capsule wardrobe. Yes, I just made up that terminology today, but it's essentially going to be a very extreme minimalist closet that I will be wearing for 30 days. <laughs> Even this morning, I got a little bit nervous, a little excited, but I was thinking maybe I should change it to two weeks. But you know what? I feel like you can just fake it through two weeks, but the full 30 days, that'll give me the full experience, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So today we're gonna build out the closet together. I'm gonna walk you through my selection process. We'll go through each category in my closet, pick out those gems, <laughs> those bare essentials that will make the cut. And then in a future video, I'll be sharing my experience, doing a little captain's you know, some check-ins, letting you know what it's really like. Okay, let's build this micro capsule. The tops, these are my t-shirts and tank tops. I really don't have that many now that I see them. I'm just gonna go with my gut here. So I'm gonna pull out the pieces that I wear the least. So I'm gonna pull off this sweater. I love the color, but it is summer. It's a bit warm. This kind of faded black tee, love it, but I don't reach for it as much as all of my white tees. I have this Taylor Swift 1989 tee. This is more my around the house PJ top. And I need my tops to work a double time for me since I'm gonna be wearing them at the house and out. Okay. Okay, I have two black tank tops. This one's really soft, but I actually like this one a bit more, I think because it's newer. But I have this black ribbed tank. It's very like sexy and cool. You can really do anything with this. So I'm gonna keep the black ribbed tank and you'll find a pattern with <laughs> my clothes. I think ribbed tanks are just a really easy way to feel cool and hip and chic with like still living your everyday life. For me, like being a stay at home mom, I can throw this on, it's practical and it still works. So I'm gonna keep these in my capsule, these two white rib tanks, a cropped one from Madewell, and this is just like a longer one from The Gap. And then my last top is just a plain t-shirt. So love a tee for summer. I did get a little pin size stain right there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to work on getting that out, but this is my, my selection of my tops. Let's get into bottoms. <laughs> All right, bottoms, let's start with pants. I have a ton of denim, a lot of jeans. Like I said, it is summer, so I don't need to be wearing such full coverage. So I'm gonna start by picking out the absolute nose, the things I'm not reaching for that much right now. It's mostly seasonal. Okay, this is my no pile. I grabbed one pair of yoga pants. Right now I have three pairs of yoga pants. I wear them all the time. Like I mentioned, I'm a mom, so they just make sense. I have one pair of straight leg, like almost bell bottom ones that feel super cool. I can wear them with like booties and different things as well. And they feel more like fancy pants. So I'm gonna keep the fancy yoga pants and I'm gonna let go my straight leg pairs. A couple pairs of Levi's, one straight leg acid wash, one kind of like tapered. These are my sexy jeans. They're a little bit tight on the waist. And during the summer, I just like kind of free flowing fabric. So those are a no for that reason. And then the acid wash I feel like is not very summer, at least kind of that charcoal acid wash. And then this last pair, these should, <laughs> they should make the capsule in theory. They're these kind of like gauzy muslin, super loose loungy pants. I got them at the Salvation Army in Boise for less than $5. They're awesome, but they're a bit big on the waist. I think they're homemade because there's not a tag and the elastic in the waist is so thin, but they're always sliding down really slowly. And I find that I'm juggling my son and putting things in the car and then I'm like, look down and they're halfway down my butt. So they just don't fit. I need to fix them a bit better. But for that reason, they are not making the cut. We're left with one pair of overalls, two pairs of jeans and one pair of yoga pants. I think I wanna decide between these two pairs of jeans. One's a little bit more of a true blue. It's thicker and heavier, so it's not as good for summer. But I like that these are just the softest, biggest. They're not tight on me. This pair, they're a bit tighter, but I like the wash more for summer. And they have a button fly, which for some reason makes me feel summer. But I think these are the ones I reach for more because they are loose and they go with everything. And if I'm feeling like bloated or not, like I wanna wear something super tight on my tummy, these are always gonna be my pick. So I'm gonna hold on to these. 
And so my final cut for bottoms, at least for pants, one pair of jeans, one pair of yoga pants, which I'll wear out and also around the house. And then my overalls, these are really cute. And the reason I'm keeping these in the capsule, I don't wear them as much as some of the other things, but I want to wear them more. And I think by making them an option, one of my only options, then I actually will. And I mean, what's more summery than a pair of light wash overalls? So boom, three pants. Let's get into shorts, skirts, and dresses. Okay, here are my short bottoms. I don't have that many for some reason. I think because in California, or at least in Northern California, it was pretty easy breezy cool most of the year. I didn't feel like I needed a lot of like tiny pieces of clothing, little shorts. So I only have a few and I just got a couple of new ones. But the first one I'm gonna show you is this silk mini skirt. I got this from Lily Silk as a gift in the fall and I wear it so freaking frequently. I was hoping I'd wear it a lot in summer and I do. So I'm gonna keep this and this is kind of like my fancy fancy. So I have any, I don't have any, <laughs> but if I did have a fancier event, like a date night, this is what I wear. And I definitely want to keep this in the capsule. It's like peak, you know, silk skirt weather, at least for me in my life. And then next is just this pair of denim jeans. It's my only pair. They're all right. I've had them for like probably three summers now. I'm getting a little bit over them, a little bit frumpy, but <laughs> you know, when they just kind of start wearing out, they're getting to that place, but I'm going to have them last the rest of the summer and then probably sell those but those are going to be a yes and then these two are yeses as well i'm a really big like muslin fabric gauze fabric person i just got these shorts recently i don't own athletic shorts right now so these are my like faking it athletic well i guess it's not faking it it's faking it athletic <laughs> shorts but these are probably the most worn piece in my closet currently it's summer it's cozy they look cool and stylish you can wear them a lot of different ways so i'm going to keep these and then the last piece on the rack is this little dress this is a newer dress i got it's billabong i'm like a super huge fan of all of those surf brands they just have the best easy breezy cool fun stuff <laughs> sounds like an ad but i genuinely just like the styles so yeah this is just a mini dress it's cool a little tiered skirt it's really girly i just love throwing it on running over to the pool going on a walk even out to dinner you know jean jacket over it it, it works for me so i'm gonna keep this and then the dress i'm wearing this is my only other dress if you remember from a previous video another yellow gold dress that was kind of like a one shouldery thing like this and I threw it in the trash. You guys, when we were moving from Bozeman to Boise on our last leg of the trip, I put all of my clothes into a huge black trash bag because I thought it'd be more compact. But because the dress was so tiny and made of silk, I think it just clung to the garbage bag. I did not pull it out. I had only worn it a handful of times. I was so bummed. I went like dumpster digging in the trash cans and never found it. Anyway, this is my replacement miracle dress. This is supposed to be one of my colors for my seasonal color analysis, but it's not a day-to-day -day dress. It's a little bit more dressy. I wore it on the 4th of July. I'm planning to wear it to a friend's bachelorette party in September, but I don't think I need it for day-to-day. -day. This is a better day-to-day -day dress. So yes, here's all my shorts. I've got two pairs of shorts, one skirt, and one dress. Let's jump into sweaters and sweatshirts. Sweaters, my favorite category. I'm a sweater freak, but it is summer, so I think I only need like one or two sweaters. First, let me start with sweatshirts, actually. I have this really cool aquamarine one. I thrifted this, if you caught that video. Then I have this huge plain black one. I know it's not that exciting, but I wear this so often. And when I feel a little like not great, a little bit like sick or tired, I can just throw this on with a pair of sunglasses, like my hat and just kind of like hide <laughs> and feel really good or just being lazy around the house. I, I love this. And this one's really cool. The color is fun but it's not quite as comfortable. It's a little crunchier to the touch. So I'm going to say no to that one, say yes to this big black sweatshirt. And then sweater sweaters, I have five of them. Two cream ones, I'm definitely a cream sweater girl. This is a fave of mine, but it is pretty warm. So I'm gonna let this go, set it aside for the rest of the next 30 days. And then this next cream one, I know it's a turtleneck, but I secretly love the look of a turtleneck in the summer. Like, I don't know, sitting around a fire or like on someone's back patio when it cools off, drinking a glass of wine. This is definitely like my vibe, even with just jean shorts or those little white muslin shorts. So this is gonna be a yes for me. 
and then this navy one also i feel like navy is just so classically summer this is the one i reach for the most because it's just easy it's kind of like a sweatshirt just like throw it right on over it is also cashmere so it's pretty warm but i like being warm i wear these in lieu of a jacket very often and then these two <laughs> this one i wore last night <laughs> I don't know how I got food all over it. I think my son got blueberries on it. This is a fun color, but it's not super summery. So I'm going to set that aside. And then this one is so gorge, this bright yellow cardigan, but it's just, it's not super great for every day. It's polyester, it's not as breathable, but I do love the color and I, I don't know, I'm feeling conflicted because this is gonna be peak summer, so am I like skipping my summer clothes? I feel like I'm missing out a little bit, but I do know I don't reach for this that much, and I really wanna test this experiment, so better now than never. <laughs> and then my last piece, this one I probably, I don't know which category this goes into, in between shirts and sweaters. This is just a classic button down. I thrifted this recently about a month ago when I was in Boise. At the same place I got the orange pants, and it's J. Crew 98% organic cotton. It's just such a nice fabric, like a cool cotton. I think it's a men's shirt, and I just absolutely love styling this so many ways. So this is definitely a summer staple for me. And I have the white button down, these two sweaters, the navy and the cream, and then this black sweatshirt. Okay, now we just have jackets and accessories, and then we are done, and I will reveal the micro capsule. <laughs> jackets baby here's what we've got i can tell you immediately i don't need my puffers <laughs> this one is so freaking warm this is also my favorite piece in my closet just saying it's gorgeous throw down the denim puffer bam and then this black puffer i still do wear on cool nights but i want to challenge myself to like not have it and just work with this other jacket that i know i'm going to pick so goodbye to the black puffer this next one, this is also kind of a fall winter jacket, this heavy leather jacket. I thrifted this, it's gorgeous, long line, but again, it's summer, I'm not really reaching for it. Also, like my lifestyle right now, I keep referencing being a mom, but like that's the biggest part of my life. It's very, very cash, so there's not a lot of like nights out at the bar with the ladies, so yeah, no to the leather jacket. This one, <laughs> it's so summer. It's kind of this beige linen like blazer jacket. It's so easy breezy cool. It's also J. Crew. J. Crew is probably my favorite brand. They have size tall, so it fits me well. I'm six feet tall if you're new to the channel, so I'm like very long, long limbs, long bods. So this jacket's cool, but I don't reach for it that much because it is a bit more dressy. Like I can dress it down, but I just know this isn't day to day. This is like more of an every other week for me. But the last one, you guys, you guys, you guys, <laughs> my denim jacket, and maybe you caught my thrifting video from Bozeman. I got this in Montana. It's like the absolute coolest, most distressed vintage jacket. To me, it's like, it's an all year jacket, but summer, it just is so good for summer. And I feel like it matches and goes with a lot of the things in my closet, that little white dress, literally anything. I'm really just picking basics. And maybe you've noticed I'm not, I'm not gravitating towards color and I'm super into color, but it's not what I reach for the most. It's more kind of special occasion, like this dress, for example. I do have, I'll show you in the next section, this hat I wear, that's more of my pop of color on a daily, weekly basis, but I'm just, I'm not feeling the color for this micro capsule. If I can only pick a few things, it's not what I'm gonna be picking. So I'm wondering if I'll miss the color. That's something I'll report back on. But yes, this will be my jacket. And if it's a cold, cold night, I don't like being cold. I'll just layer like, for instance, that cashmere sweater. I could wear two cashmere sweaters and this jacket and that's super, super warm. It's not like it's like <laughs> below freezing outside. So this will work for me. Okay, let's do accessories. I have sunglasses, hats, and bags. <laughs> Okay, let's do hats. I'm definitely a hat girl. I have pretty fair skin, trying to preserve it as long as I can. This is my daily hat. I wear this hat every single day, pretty much in summer. Really fun, colorful trucker hat. I throw it on for you guys, but I have a little claw clip in. And then this is my more kind of, I guess like party hat, formal hat, statement hat. But this hat is not that practical. It doesn't like bend or fold down for like trips or even just putting it in the car. It's a little bit more of a to-do, a little bit more fussy. So I'm just gonna only keep this hat and then put this one aside. It works for fall, so see you in fall. Yeah. 
Next we've got sunglasses. I'm definitely a sunglasses girl. Both of these are from Crew. It's a really expensive brand, but you can get really good sale prices on them. So I've actually bought them on sale and then sold them later after wearing them a bunch for more than I paid for. So try to be thrifty with my spending there. Anyway, I have this kind of more classic pair. These are my go-to pair that I wear the most. I think they really suit my face, kind of a warm tortoise shell. And then this other pair is a bit more fun and I haven't been wearing these. So I kind of want to put these in the capsule. These are their blinker pairs. It has these little cute beep, beep, beep blinkers. And I think they add a little bit more edge to the outfit since the pieces I picked for the micro capsule are so kind of like boring, are a little bit more basic, you could say. So I feel like, yes, I'm gonna say no to these and I'm gonna hold on to the blinkers for, whoa, for <laughs> the capsule. Let me show you my bag and then we'll finish with shoes. Bags, and this one is easy for me because I only have one bag. I've had this bag for probably five years. I used to own more purses in addition to this, but this is the only one I ever reached for. I bought it on Poshmark, it's Zara, it's genuine leather, and it's just lasted, it's gone the distance. It's kind of big, but not massive. So this will be joining the capsule. Finishing off with shoes, okay. These boots, they're a little bit dirty. I just wore them to a concert at Red Rocks when it was pretty rainy, but other than a really rainy night, I don't wear these in the summer, and I can definitely just wear sneakers over these even if it is raining. So these are gonna be a no for me, and then I have three other pairs. The next pair is the least exciting for me. These are my like athletic sneakers. They're all birds, they're just fine. I bought them on Poshmark for really cheap. They were $15, which is a bargain because they're usually like 110 to 150, I believe. And <laughs> I'm just not the biggest all bird fans, the wool ones. I love, love how they look, but as far as walking around, I don't find enough support, but these are the shoes I have right now. So I do need these for like walking and hiking. So these will be a yes. So I'm gonna do these and then one other pair for the capsule. I have two more sneakers left, let me show ya. I've got my plain white sneakers and these crazy colorful ones. These white ones, these Vans, they're leather. These are newer, these are a men's skate shoe. They're a bit heavy, I'm not in love with them. I wouldn't rebuy, but they're what I'm working with for this summer. So these will be a yes with the Allbirds. And then these sneakers will be a no, even though they're my favorite. A really fun pair of pastel Nike Air Max. They're just, <laughs> they're not as versatile, it's pretty obvious. Okay, that's, boom, everything <laughs> for the micro capsule. So I'm gonna clean up right now. It's crazy in here. I'll do a little montage of that. And then I'm gonna put my capsule on the rack, see how it all looks together, and also show you all of the pieces on. <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal of my micro capsule wardrobe? Ta da! micro capsule for the next 30 days starting tomorrow morning. These are all of my options. I am putting everything else away and I wanted to insert some try on clips so you could actually see what all of these pieces look like on so you can imagine them a little bit better. So here's the run through all of my options in the playbook. Here we go. We've got my denim jacket. That's my one piece of outerwear. We've got my big black sweatshirt. Two sweaters, both cashmere. We have my navy v-neck sweater, my off-white turtleneck, my cream button-down for an overshirt. For tees and tanks, I have one white tee, two white ribbed tanks, one cropped, one full length. 
one black ribbed tank, one dress. We've got this cute little white sundress. For shorts, we have one pair of denim cutoff shorts, one pair of white muslin comfy shorts, one silk midi skirt, that's my fancy look. We have one pair of black bootleg yoga pants, one pair of classic denim jeans, and one pair of overalls. For shoes, we have a pair of white leather sneakers and a pair of athletic sneakers. And for accessories, we have one bag, this leather bag, one pair of sunglasses, and one hat, the trucker hat. And that is everything, you guys. I'm starting this journey tomorrow. I've got that calendar, 30 days. We'll see how it goes. I have some you know, predictions I'm forecasting a little bit in my head. I think it'll be easy to get dressed, but I do think I may get a little bit bored with my options. I do think I'm going to miss color because some days I just really am drawn to color and there's not a lot of color happening there. I do have my hat, thank God I can, you know, lean on that as a crutch to add a little bit of color. Maybe I'll get more creative with my makeup. Maybe I'll, I don't know, change my personality. I'm just kidding. But you know, I feel like I really do like those creative limitations. I think they allow for more like expansion and interesting ideas. So we'll see if the ideas, <laughs> the ideas are flowing, you know, <laughs> or maybe it's all just gonna be a buzz. Only, only time will tell. So stay tuned. I'll be documenting that entire experience and giving you guys the truth of what it's, what it's like to live with a tiny closet. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to all the new subscribers for joining the family. We had quite a bit join this last week. I mean like a hundred people, but for me, that's a lot. So hey, 100 new people. <laughs> if you're one of them, welcome to the channel. And shout out to all my rider guys that have been here for a hot minute, just watching me talk to a camera alone in my house. Woo! Love you, have the most fun day. Bye!